Hi, my name is Sharon McKeon, and this is Cross Potent, a place where magical people meet. And this is going to be your Moon and Sky report, like probably about the third edition of the Moon and Sky Farm Report. And this one's going to be all about Venus, because Venus is about to retrograde, so I kind of wanted to do a, you know, a video just about Venus. So, what I'm going to discuss is a few things about uh, the background of Venus, and then I'm going to get into what Venus is doing in the next couple months. So, everybody pretty much knows Venus is lovely and sweet and nice, but to the Aztecs, uh, Venus was a little bit different. This is the worldview, according to pretty much the Native Americans, and there's four quadrants, starting with spring and summer, autumn and winter. N pretty much there's four rulers of these four quadrants. Mother Earth, now this is her chart here, uh, she rules this side. Uh, the Sun, which is often a more Hellenistic type of chart that has the twelve um, zodiac signs for the whole year is, is pretty much the chart that's used for the Sun. The Moon, of course, is the monthly Moon chart. Venus, on the other hand, up here, uh, the Aztecs mostly focused on a Venus chart that had uh, a special Venus aspects to it that correlated with Venus's unique cycle. So we're going to talk about Venus's uni unique cycle right now. Venus is about to go retrograde. So what Venus has done, this is the Earth, this is the Sun, the Earth goes around here, oops, I'm sorry, the Earth goes up and around and down over to back to here. So Venus goes around, we see Venus going around and then we see Venus kind of coming backwards again. And then it goes forwards and then it kind of comes backwards. So there's a little loop-de-loop -loop that kind of looks like Venus is going backwards in the sky right about this area of the orbit. So right now Venus is between 8, 9, and 10 and going to go to 1, uh, the number 1 position which is the conjunct between the lineup between these three planets, or the two planets in the Sun. So what I'm going to show you now is the unique chart for Venus, if I can zoom in on it nicely, without messing up everything. There we go. <coughs> this is a u unique Venus chart that has every 18 degrees is a special critical degree of Venus and this correlates to the eight year retrograde cycle of Venus uh, throughout her um, transits. So the crocodile equates to Aries, death equates to Cancer, the monkey equates to Libra, the vulture to Capricorn. All the other ones don't really line up with Hellenistic type houses or delineations. Um, these are unique to Venus. So where Venus is at right now is uh, as of August 7th, Venus came through Libra. By August 26th, which is the monkey according to the Aztecs, by August 26th we're going to be in the grass sign. By September 19th we're going to be in the reed. By October 3rd, we're going to be retrograding back through the reed. By October 22nd, we will have retrograded all the way back into the grass sign. And then November 16th, things start moving forward again in the grass sign. <coughs> By December 11th, we're back into the reed. And January 2nd of next year, we're back into the ocelot. So there's going to be a loop-de-loop -loop over this critical degree of the reed. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain this a little bit further. Um, Venus is a planet of craftsmanship, of artists, of singers. Um, the monkey is um, stylized to be the highest form of Venus when Venus gets to the the culmination 
point at the opposite side of, of the, begin, the beginning uh, like animal energy. Over here, um, Venus becomes what's called the flower prince in the Aztec lore anyway. And the flower prince inspires dancing and drinking and irresponsible sexual activities, things along those lines. Very Libra-like things. <laughs> but according to the Aztecs, um, they have a, a big emphasis on waterish kind of um, signs. So there's three that are very scorpionic and three that are kind of Piscean and three that are kind of Cancer. So the next three signs each have qualities that are almost qualities of Scorpio in a way. What seemed to me is a little more Scorpionic, although the grass can kind of, is a little confusing. Um, we start in the monkey where cleverness and persuasiveness uh, is where Venus shines, but by August 26 and we're into the grass, this is symbolizing more of basket weaving and whatnot. So after August 26th, uh, we're going to have a lot of, of knotty issues, like literally knots tied in string or little bits of twine that have to be threaded and knotted and, and woven in a very artistic way. And um, this is also a sign of healing and of uh, medicine and surgery, but Primarily it has a lot to do with um, kind of like the knotty problems that people have and the uh, tangles that people find themselves in. So this is going to be a, a theme throughout this retrograde cycle of Venus. And I think personally I've seen this in our politics. Things are very knotted and very strangely interwoven. There's this huge woven picture with all these little threads that have woven through and and um, kind of connect all different sides of the picture. And um, by uh, September 19th, Venus is going to be into the reed, which is more um, the war dart. Now the reed is, makes an arrow or a war dart. So this is more of a more definitive sense of direction and not so much the confusing tangled up area of the grass. So after September 19th, this is um, where integrity and strength are personified by the corn stalk and the war dart, both very straight and strong kinds of symbols. But by October 3rd, there's going to be a retrograde of Venus in this sign. So this is going to um, throw a little bit of a, a swirl into our sense of, uh, you know, our, our sense of direction, our integrity. We're going to have to pull on our deepest, um, our deepest experience and our deepest wisdom to hang on to our sense of direction through this retrograde period of the read. Now it's going to retrograde and still be retrograding in the grass, which is that knotty kind of symbol. So from October 22nd in the grass all the way through November 16th, this it might be more of the, the um, strange um, connections between all kinds of, of interlocking and interweaving different parts. And by November 16th, this starts moving forward again. And by December 11th, we're back forward in the reed and things are starting to move forward again. This is going to be going back over the same area with our sense of direction, our strength, our integrity. This is uh, homing in like the war dart with our, our targeting what's most important. And in a way, this is... Um, seeing how competent we are and um, how much we can produce of of our own sensibilities and how much um, accuracy we can add to you know the whatever project it is that we're trying to be involved with. By January 2nd Venus moves into the ocelot and this is going to be a very different kind of energy towards the end of the scorpionic kind of phase right here. The ocelot is very nocturnal. It's a much darker side of, of this Scorpio area right here. The ocelot is stealthy 
has more of the uh, spying connotation of a stealthy animal that spies on its prey and sneaks up on a, capturing a sick or injured animal. And this uh, type of energy after uh, January 2nd, this is 2019, um, will be very um, dependent on what we are aiming for, what, uh, what kind of target we are looking for. Um, there will be low-hanging fruit, but what is the low-hanging fruit that we're going to be looking for? And I'll get more into this come January, but I just wanted to give an overview of how this is going to work with the Aztec. A lot of people are not very familiar with these retrogrades, and I just want to make a quick video to pretty much describe how it goes. And I really hope you appreciated this information and would like to hear more about these sorts of things. And I look forward to bringing you more videos. Thank you.